Hi friends. Happy Friday. It's Peggy Noe from prettypapercards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here today with my little Yorkshire Terrier Ellie and we have so much stuff to show you. Today, um, well yesterday, I got all my all the goodies that I ordered from the new catalog launch and I have a lot to show you and we're going to make a quick card. So let me do what I always do, which is check here to make sure that um, we're live and we're, you know, and it's everything, all my electronics are working. Let's double check here. It looks like we're good. Okay, I see we have a couple people on already. That's great. Welcome, Trudy Oliver. So good to see you. Tina Lesson, Marsha Long from Texas, and Tina from North Carolina, Trudy from Virginia. So good to see you guys. Welcome, welcome. Um, we, like I said, we're going to have fun today. And Ellie's going to probably go take her nap. I just brushed her little, hi Cherie, I just brushed her little, her little hair right there to make sure it was cute. And I added a little extra new ribbon. She's got her regular doggy bow, but I added some extra new Moody Mauve ribbon for her. Margaret Gordon, good to see you. Thanks for popping on. And Sawson from West Virginia. Um, it's great to see you guys. So how are you? Happy Friday. Today in the San Diego area, we celebrate Cinco de Mayo. May 5th is a big holiday here. The Mexican restaurants are busy. There's parties. There's music. Linda, good to see you. She does look cute today. So, um, if we weren't looking at new catalog products, we would be doing one of those little Taco Fiesta cards because that is the set for today. I saw that uh, a couple girls had done some Taco Fiesta cards to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. I saw them online. They're very, very cute. That's, that's what you do today. So um, I really don't want to waste any time. I want to get right into things. So first I want to show you um, Carol, thank you. And finally, all your snow, sleet, and rain is gone. Wonderful. Wonderful. And Carol from Connecticut, welcome. Yes, put prize if you want a prize. Want a prize. All right, so I want to, the announcements are um, new catalog. It's all about the new catalog. That's the big announcement. The other thing is I have a new host code for May, which I think I told you about uh, the other day and it's uh, listed up above uh, the video for the Facebook people down below the video for my YouTube people and please use it when you are uh, placing an order with me of $50 or more and I will send you the monthly host code gift and I want to show you this one I didn't have it I knew what it was gonna be but I didn't have it until yesterday look at these gorgeous sequins I am giving them to you because they they're I think my favorites of the of the new um, embellishments and I wrote down on the back they're the colors are pretty peacock berry burst and white and that berry burst looks pretty pink I think that's why I why I liked it so um, that's the prize for this month if you use my host code and spend place a $50 order in my online store um, I think it's a great price, so be sure to add that host code and um, you add it, um, I think, kind of on your way out in your checkout area. Um, if you have trouble, let me know. Hi, Cindy. Good to see you from Canada, Miss Cindy. Okay, I'm going to come back for a minute. Okay, baby, go take your nap because we have so much to look at. So let me put these over here and just get organized here. This is the new catalog. I hope you've all seen it. I hope you all have one. If you don't, email me at Peggy at Pretty Paper Cards. Polly Libby from North Carolina, welcome. Um, 
email me and I will send you a catalog. I want everybody to have this great catalog. And truthfully, I love the back as much as the front. And I just got the dies. I'm going to show them to you. I haven't had a chance to play with them. But I got the dies to make these flowers. And we're going to do that um, at some point coming up because I love them. Alrighty, so one thing I want to do is make a card first with you because the other day we we got going so much and then I didn't make a card with you. So I thought we would start with the card using new products. And so here we go. I want to make the card using the Zoo Crew. Now this was a pre-order thing, but I actually didn't get it in the pre-order. I just got the paper. Um, just yesterday and I'm gonna make a card using the paper I've done this before to show you hi Roz and Sandy Alford hello I've done this before to show you how you can make a card using just the designer series paper if it's um, if you don't have the stamp set and I I can buy a lot of stamp sets, but I have to place a limit. And so I thought I would use for the Zoo Crew, I would use the paper. I haven't even made this a sample for this, but I want to show you the papers. I am I am partial to these little ballerinas, the animals that are the ballerinas. Tracy, good to see you. Every pattern has a black on the back. So it's, um, okay, that one has that pattern. That's the ballerinas, and I've already cut some things out you can see. This pattern, um, they're on wheels, okay? They're like on bicycles and little Vespas and stuff. And this is their back, black background. Um, here's another black background. Here they are um, partying. These animals are partying. And each, pay, each design has different little animals. Here, this little koala bear, where is he again? He's throwing cupcakes. I mean, they're just so cute. And this one, they are doing crafts, and this is the most hysterical one. I think it's a llama knitting. I mean, you guys have probably seen these, and some of you might have them. They are so cute, Sandy. They just are. That's the back of, I think, the knitting ones, the crafting ones. They are just, whoops, I don't want to drop that. They are just absolutely adorable. And here they are playing instruments the different animals playing instruments, and their back is dotted. Okay, so that is that paper, but I've already cut out a bit for us to make our card today, and I wanted to use a new stamp set that I got, which is called Handmade Hugs, and it goes with this handmade tag punch that I had gotten from the uh, Spring Mini, and they coordinate together. So I thought we'd make a quick, simple card to start off so that I can show you um, how you can make a card with designer series paper. And I cut out this little something. You guys can tell me what it is. What little animal is that? Um, with a cute little lemon lolly ballet skirt, a little tutu. And so let's get going here. I've got my basic white card base. And it's this is just a simple card. You can make it with anything absolutely anything okay there we go and then our we're going to use this is I didn't I guess I didn't show you the the designer series paper that has the piece that has this as the background of course I would like this one best this was the oh it's I guess I didn't show you this at all it's kind of the animals who are camping there's a lion with a with a fire and he's cooking a marshmallow and a pig with a backpack so that's the can and some cute butterflies but I'm just going to use this because I like the back side, the flowers. And we're just going to put this on here for our background real quick. And then I'm going to use Lemon Lolly, which is actually why I picked out this little critter. I know, they're so cute. So you guys tell me if you know what animal that is. It's maybe like, I want to say weasel, but I'm usually wrong with those things. Okay, so I thought we would say... We would, oh, I already took it out. We would use the sentiment, um, today we celebrate you. And I'm gonna use uh, Memento Black Ink, Tuxedo Black Memento Ink, because the paper is all black and white and with other colors. So I thought we'd use this stamp. 
And when you use a stamp and a punch, it is super cute. So we're just going to take our punch and punch this out just like that. Okay, come on out, little guy. Okay, so here we have Today We Celebrate You, and we have the little, um, the cute little critter. Do, does anybody know what the animal is? I don't have that yet. Colleen Ludicky, good to see you. Um, and this is just a, a cute, easy card. Let me get some Stampin' Dimensionals, and we'll just pop that up. And of course, we could add all kinds of things. We could add ribbon. We could add more of the little animals. But just to show you super quick how you can make a, a quick card and use designer series paper. So I'm just going to put some glue on this side of our little critter. I'm going to call call it a little ballerina. And we're just going to hear, adhere her right there. Weasel, weasel. Okay, excellent. Um, and there is a cute card. Now, like I said, we can do all kinds of other things, but I just wanted to show you how easy that can be. And you just cut, I had pre-cut that little weasel out of the designer series paper. And it's just a cute, you could color in with our blends. We could color the little flowers. It's just a quick, easy, easy card. And it could be for a birthday or for a celebration. So I wanted to make sure to make a card with you guys. Okay, let's start looking at the stuff I got. I, it's all over, it's all over behind me. I don't know if you can see, but it's all over the place. Okay, so handmade tugs, that's one of, and we can, I'm gonna do a lot of other things with that stamp set. Um, then I'm gonna, sh I wanna show you the one punch I got. I think this is the only punch I got. Uh, the Elegant Edge Tag Topper Punch. Isn't that cute? Let's see here if we can put a little bit of this paper right through it and see if we can give it a test. Don't you kind of like to test things when you first get them? So you unlock your punch like that. And what I like to do is I like to actually look at my punches from the back because see, you can, you can actually see what you're doing and I can get that little highest thing centered there. Let's just give that a little punch. Okay, that's just a little bit, but it's it's cute. I knew I would really like it. Okay, elegant tag topper punch. We like you. All righty. Let's take a look at the other embellishments that I got. These I already had. These are the adhesive backed solid gems. Um, copper, clay, boho, and lemon, lolly. These are the 2023-25 in color gems. And I use those on a card coming up that I'm gonna show you. They're, they're just all multicolored and so pretty. Tinsel gems, four pack. That one doesn't say the colors. I'm gonna to have to look that one up. This, I love. Look at those shiny pearls. 2022-24 in color pearls, beautiful gorgeous. I love these. Ombre matte decorative dots. And those go from the darkest to the lightest, so there's a variegation in color. More shiny tinsel, tinsel gems. Did we already look at that? Maybe I got two of those. And these are very interesting. They look like little eggs. Can you see that? Uh, opaque ovals. But look, check it out. Lemon lolly, right? Okay. So now I thought I would show you a couple things I started playing with so you'll kind of know my favorites. All right, this one I really wanted to get started with. It's called Darling Details. And I made this cute card right away because it has some neat frames. Can you see? Look at that neat frame. So the interesting thing to know, here are the dies. And so the interesting thing to know about this one is that it it's stitched. You see the stitching there? But it only cuts on the inside. So what I had to do is I cut a piece of, uh, that is um, Fresh Freesia cardstock, four by five and a quarter. And then I centered the die, the frame die inside. Isn't that, isn't that just fun? 
And then the flowers are totally fun. I just think they're so nice and bold. And the one flower is, that is the outline. And this is the inside if you choose to do that with it. So I used um, Highland Heather and Lemon Lolly for the inside. And I did some leaves. Now they also have all these other leaves here and another smaller frame stems and then this fun one in the catalog it shows how you can weave ribbon in and out of that i didn't do that yet but check out how cute the flower looks on the inside of the card right isn't and on the envelope so that is the darling details bundle that doesn't have a suite it's a bundle i'm just going to put these things down now this was my favorite suite if I can get it. This was my favorite suite. It's called um, Gorgeously Made is the bundle and the suite is called, okay, let's turn this over. It's very bright, but I just love it. Masterfully Made is the suite. And this paper is like beautiful and wild and I love it. Um, the backs, it's kind of a torn, it has tor a torn paper look. Yes, Marsha, I like that too. So, um, it's, it's just neat. I don't know, it just really appealed to me. And for some people, I think it might be too wild, but I think that could be if you use it in big bunches, you know, as a big sheet. But I used a little bit here, and I'll we'll look at my card in a minute. This is a pretty one. And check this one out. Isn't that pretty? I don't have the colors down totally yet. This one I like too. And this has this for a background. It's, it's kind of like, otherwise I would call it the torn paper suite. And that's a very pretty one. Okay, so that's the paper. And then the stamp set um, has some typical uh, sentiments, two leaves, I, I always like these um, word, kind of faded out words, and this is like an accent piece, but the dies are what I was after. So here on my sample card, this is a piece of very vanilla where I stamped the words in, in stamped off berry burst, and then this is a piece of the designer series paper, so I only used a four by two inch piece there just in, in small bits, I think we'll like it. This is the sentiment. Now this, um, like um, accountant type paper, this is in the next set of paper I'm gonna show you. But I really love this die right here, which cuts the paper out like it was on a coiled, uh, a coiled pad. And so I cut it there. This is the leaf. And a surprising thing about the leaf this particular leaf die right here is that it cuts into the little bitty bits of the leaves not a hundred percent can you see in there and so what i did is i went back in with my take your pick tool and one of the tips on the take your pick tool is this um it has a little ball on it it has two ends one is the little baby and the other one is a fatter ball and so I poked from the back forward to get those to pop out a little bit because it gives you really um, great um, uh, dimension and texture. And then these are some of the gems. Which gems were these? These were these gems. Uh, in color dots 2023 to 2025. And this is a piece of the jute that we'll look at in a bit. Can you see that it's in color? So that is uh, Moody Mauve. Isn't that a fun card? Stylus End. Oh, thank you, Cindy. You guys, you are so helpful. So that was my that was my favorite suite. So let's go through some of the rest of the papers now. This is a very big. This is a very big bunch of papers. Um, let me see here. This is the delightfully eclectic 12 by 12 
but it comes with, you guys, 48 12 by 12 sheets. I mean, it's just huge. And there are just, there's the kind of accountant ledger paper. It's just beautiful. Four sheets, there was a different ledger paper. Four sheets, oh, and I love this one, of every pattern. So you get just a lot. Check these patterns out. They're just really, really pretty. So you're gonna, we're all gonna love that. This is another one that I got, which I really like. Sorry, I just have to throw it down on the floor. A soft shimmer 12 by 12 specialty. I wish you could see the glimmer. Can you see the glimmer in this? Berry burst that looks like Freesia, Lost Lagoon, and Knight of Navy and Peacock. Are those beautiful? And they're, there's nothing on the back, they're just white. They're kind of thin, but they are so, I wish I could just show you more how beautiful these are. I know I am enabling you. Well, these are the papers I got for my for the paper share that I'm doing, and I thought I might as well show them to you. Um, okay, let's go. The next one here is, okay, this I'm going to call not my favorite. It's let's go fishing, but my son does fish, so... I think, you know, and a lot of husbands fish and a lot of boys and men fish, so it has some great guy things. These are some flies, and my son makes his own flies. A map, I kind of like this page, and a fishing rod, and here's a pretty blue one with fish on the back. So that's Let's Go Fishing. Then here is another really neat specialty paper. This is the holographic. Check this out. Wow, <laughs> is this something else? Look at that. I, I think, again, this is going to be one that's going to be more bits. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Love, love that. Oh, the Ross, the fishing. Okay, good. Um, then we have, I'm not quite sure where some start and some end. This is the Le Shop, L-E-S, French, Le Shop. And it is very cute. I didn't get the stamp set or the suite, but I think I'm going to have fun again with this one. Look at that. You could cut out some of the little uh, pots. And it could be, check this out, baguettes. Um, it could be that some of the dies in the set cut them out. Some, some of the rest of you will have to let me know if you get the dies. That, that one I like. That's very pretty. I like the color. And then lots of little mini lay shop. But really some nice patterns that I think we're going to like. Um, large shops, again, and the shops are different. These shops have clothes. These shops have books, more, and then there's also the bakery shops, the bakery and the uh, maybe ice cream shops and candies. I mean, they are very cute. They really are. Let's see. And this is more books and, I don't know, paint. So that's pretty cute, huh? Okay, then we come to the space. Like, in my era, we had 2001, A Space Odyssey, and then 2001 was over. So I think the, I've got these pretty, pretty um, like the front and the back, so you can see them all. Really, really beautiful. I don't know that I'll use them that much. I'm not that much into the planets and stuff, but I know... Um, a lot of people will, and perfect for boys. I have a nephew that might just really love these. And they're going to make some pretty backgrounds. They are. Aren't these just pretty? And here's one with more planets. Yep. Okay. And this is called Stargazing. Okay, now we have... This is the one that goes with the... Um, Earth and Elegance Suite. And so these are the earth colors and that Earth and Elegance Suite with the pots and stuff. Again, that wasn't one of my favorites, 
But these papers are, you know, Stampin' Up! just makes such beautiful papers. Check out this one. Isn't that neat? Uh, you got that sweet one. Your grandkids are addicted to space. Okay, Ross, great. This paper, I think, is pretty interesting. I feel like that would be one I would use. And this is pretty, too. Um, and then this one, another interesting one. And let's see. And this is on the back of that. Oh, no, this is on the back of that. Okay. This one is interesting, too, like a clay pot. So aren't those pretty? And I did want to show you, I've got the ribbons, but I actually hadn't opened this, and I thought we'd open it together. Some of you may have it. I don't know. But I just got it. this real pretty ribbon that came with that Earth and Elegance. Whoa. Sorry, that was my lamp. That's me, you know. I just got so much here. But this beautiful ribbon, twine, jute. Um, let me see exactly. What is it called? Wavy trim. But check that out. Isn't that just neat? Let me get it better. Okay. And look even how pretty it looks right on there. Isn't that beautiful? I think we're going to like that. I think it's going to be real popular, this wavy trim. Okay, now, what else do we have to see? You want to? We should just go ahead and look at ribbons then, I think. I've already shown you some ribbons that I got um, with the pre-order, the in-color ribbons and so forth, but this is one I don't, either we couldn't order it or I didn't order it. This is inner braid ribbon, and the color is Misty Moonlight. And that's really pretty. Inner braid ribbon. Then we couldn't get this three pack and I was really anxious to, a sheer ribbon combo pack. Because I know that we have Lemon Lolly and it looks like it's um, on the edge, kind of, it has some stitching that is uh, silver, is what I think here. Let me see if I can get this. I wanna get one out, come on. I don't like to damage the ribbon. I've got it. Okay. There we go. Okay. So this is the Lemon Lolly. Ooh. Very beautiful. We're going to like that. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be Boho Blue and Bubble Bath, you guys. I should have... I think I did get an extra one of this from me. But I'm probably going to need more. And this is the one that I already got. I'm not sure if I showed it to you. This is very pretty. Um, I've used this... Um, Lemon Lime Twist one on a couple cards, and then this I think is, I don't know if it's Bubble Bath or Petal. Very pretty ribbons. Aren't those pretty? And those are going to be in my ribbon share. And then this is the in color jute that I wanted to show you. I think this is going to be fun. It is a little stiff, kind of stiff, um, but it's but it's, it's jute, and I think we're going to enjoy it. It's thicker than our regular uh, baker's twine, but very nice. Okay, now what else do we have? I have stamp sets. Oh, a couple more papers. The 6x6 six six papers. So remember the, the sparkly paper that we loved so much during celebration one or two years back? They brought it out as regular. We can buy it, and it's gold, and it looks like gold and champagne. Let me see if it has, no, I don't have the name. Um, I didn't, I don't have the name right now, but isn't that pretty? That is really nice. And then this goes with one of the sweets. And it looks like I might have a couple of packs here. This is like an inked something sweet. That's very pretty, beautiful colors. And I think I've got two packs. My friend and I were here, oh, here it might tell. Uh, Inked Botanicals, yeah. My friend and I were going through these yesterday. <laughs> Very pretty. And then this is one I was waiting for. This is Gingham. Glorious Gingham, Berry Burst, Blueberry Bushel, Lemon Lime Twist, Pecan Pie, and Pretty Peacock. And here are the patterns. These are the two patterns 
I think those are the only two patterns which are perfect. I love these patterns. And I'm going to use this a lot. I can already see that I am. Isn't that gorgeous? Such beautiful papers. Okay, what else have we got? Exposed Brick 3D Embossing Folder is the only one I got. Um, no, I did get a couple others. I had gotten one before the Sentimental one. Um, let me see. I had it here somewhere. Yes, this one. Country, oh sorry, Countryside Blossoms. If you can see that. I got that early with my pre-order and that is, I really like that too. And then this is exposed brick. So it's kind of like one we have, another one we have, but it adds the exposed brick on the side. Very nice. Okay, now the stamp sets and dies. Here we go. We got a whole stack of them. This is the one I told you I was going to get with the typewriter. Just my type, which I think is super cute. Um, this is courage and faith. Um, I was mentioning, I think the other day, that this one was designed by um, a million dollar demonstrator here in my town of Escondido, Natalie Travis. She designed this one. And one thing I do want to tell you is I'm making, we're going to have a class, a faith creations class, um, using this set beginning next Monday. So watch for my advertising on that. We're going to have a, it'll be a kit, a kit to go because I love this set. I love the verses. I love everything about it. And it'll probably use some of the beautiful new papers. So watch for this. You're going to want it. I know you are. <laughs> this is not new, but, or maybe it is new. It is new. Sweet and precious. I have friends who are having babies, grandbabies. And I just thought this was so cute. My favorite is the giraffe, kind of licking the head of the baby giraffe. And then there's the penguin and... It could be a sloth. I think it's a sloth, but aren't they cute, the mamas and babies? Sweet and precious. And then this is another baby one I got, a new one called Little Dreamers. Like I said, I need I needed baby sets. Um, okay, dies. All right, this is the die set that made all the flowers on the back of the catalog, including they use the daisy dies. But I'm going to have to figure, this is going to take me a while to figure out because um, they make different type flowers. But one thing that I, I was pleased about is that, for example, for this particular type of flower, you've got all four hooked together in one die. So I appreciate that. And these are hooked together. These are hooked together. These are hooked together. So that's going to be neat. And then this creates the inside for one of the flowers. You use that and roll it up and that's another so they've got several insides and some leaves we're gonna do this we're gonna we're gonna make some okay it was a sloth Marsha thank you so this is gonna make gorgeous flowers here is another one I was so excited to get called wanted to stay these are standalone dies so for example this is happy birthday and this is what I call the cloud that goes around it it doesn't actually fit in there, but you would, um, well, so I think you cut this out and you cut this out and then you lay one on top of the other. We will be playing with this also. And this one says, um, you're too kind. And I had to put it on two uh, boards, two of my magnet boards, because it's got so many. This says, feel better soon and celebrate. And then there are, and with each with their little clouds, and then they have, so leaves, flower, bow, stars, hearts, and I do not know what that is. But anyway, we'll, we'll try it out. I'll, I'll hold it up close and maybe you guys can figure it out. You see how that is? Do you, do you know what that is? I don't know. It embosses inside there. So we're going to have to try that out and see what it does. Or if you know, or if you get it and test it, let me know. Okay, love those. I know I'm going to use those a lot. And then I got the Delightful Doily Hybrid Embossing Folder. And so when it says hybrid, it comes with an embossing folder. And I love doilies. 
Oh, a present. Okay, a gift. Thank you, Becky. Good to see you. Oh, you guys are smart. Cindy, present. Okay, great. <clears throat> so this is the Delightful Doily Hybrid Embossing Folder, and it comes with both of these. So it comes with a, an embossing folder, and it comes with dies, and then the embossing folder, inside the embossing folder, you can put the dies, okay? And this is the outline of that, and you have to get it just right. I had it lined up a little while ago. So you can emboss and die cut at the same time, and then these, I believe, cut out the center, and here is a circle. So maybe, I think you would choose one. You would choose the center using the circle, or you would use, I think, or you would use this one that cuts the exact shape. Let's check out the front. Yeah, so this check, this cuts the exact shape, and this cuts out the circle. Pretty neat, very neat. I will say one thing, though. Um, be careful when you put these in your um, stamp and cut and emboss machines. Um, just watch them because these are very large and thick. It works fine in my uh, Stampin' Up! Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. I actually broke another one that I had that was an electric one and it actually broke on a hybrid embossing folder. So if you have an electric a die cutting machine, be careful. I have one for uh, when I make my kits, but it works great in the Stampin' Up! one. Just a little warning, I don't want you to break your stuff. Okay, um, nested essentials. This is an essential. This, if you get one die set that is a standalone die set, I would definitely get this because they are stitched, you guys, and this one, these little banners are double stitched. Can you see that? Let me put it up close. Can you see that that's double stitched? The other two are single stitched, but we're going to use these a lot. Cherie, um, the sweet and precious stamp set would make a cute Mother's Day or Father's Day card. What a great idea. Wonderful idea. I love that. So anyway, nested essentials, I think, are, I think you really are going to want them. Put them on your wish list if you haven't already ordered them because I think we're going to use these a lot, a lot. Huh. So there you go. That was my haul, my stash, my whole schlamoli of what I got. It was a lot, wasn't it? Okay, let's come back up and award a prize. Okay, so I wasn't on last week because I was uh, recovering from my, um, my wonderful double cataract surgery and I can see at a distance so well. I can't see close up, really close up like for my detail work. So that's why I put on my, my little readers. Yes, nice haul it was. Thank you, Cindy. Um, so I wasn't on last week. So this is from the 21st and this is one of my packets of, of cards. You get four, I think four cards and envelopes in here. And I put all the names through the um, random number generator, and the winner is da 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 Cindy Reed. I know you're here, so congratulations on winning my card kit. Cindy Reed is in Canada, and this is easy to send, so I'll be getting this off to you, my friend. Um, it's a set, you know, like I said, four of my cards that I'd like to give out to you guys. Thank you, Marsha. You love my stash. So the prize for next week is um, I have several of my favorite ribbon from the last annual catalog. The, uh, the one quarter inch seam binding ribbon that you can color in any color. Speaking of which, I don't know why I didn't get that white ribbon. I ordered it. The one from the new catalog that's an inch wide. Maybe I just didn't grab it off my table. I have so much stuff over there. Anyway, we have a new one, but it's an inch wide, and this is the quarter inch wide. So it's a full bolt, they call it, 10, 10 yards. So if you'd like to win this, put the word prize, and you'll be entered to win this for next Friday. Um, personally, I think it's pretty great. 
So thank you guys for, for being with me and for watching and have a wonderful weekend. Eat some Mexican food to celebrate Cinco de Mayo tonight. And I will see you next week and be watching for my Faith Creations class that will start.